Welcome fellow YouTuber, this is episode 1 of our Let's Play series on Cold Waters. We are in command of the USS Omaha SSN-692 Los Angeles class submarine and are embarking into the North Atlantic to fight the Soviet Union who has just invaded Western Germany. Please comment below if you have questions about the content, like the video if you enjoyed it at the end or during your viewing. And if you want to get notified of more content of this nature, please subscribe. Thank you for your time, and let's get started. Our current tactical situation is that Satellite Recon has spotted enemy cruise missile submarines and several attack submarines preparing to sail within the next 72 hours to strike NATO convoys transitioning the North Atlantic. No other friendly units are in position to intercept the enemy in time. So our main objective is to locate and sink the enemy cruise missile submarines and their escorts. We are going to move our ship to the Norway coast and set an ambush in deeper waters until we have detected a submarine group in the near vicinity. A good spot appears to be north of Indoya where we will lay in wait for our prey. Our executive officer reports ship status of a depth of 50 feet, a current heading of 87 at a speed of 5 knots. Local conditions are clear and calm with a very strong surface duct and very strong thermal layer at 167 feet. We will close to 10,000 yards and engage. We will now work to identify all contacts that we have detected. Some may be hostile and some may be neutral or even animals. Once all contacts have been identified, we will formulate a plan of attack. We will stay in ultra quiet mode in order to remain undetected for as long as possible and close in for now. Sierra 1 is classified as a Soviet class Oscar submarine. The ship, as you can see in the top right, has a displacement of 16,500 tons and is approximately 145 meters long. This is a Soviet cruise missile submarine and our primary objective. As such, we will close on Sierra 1 Oscar. As soon as we launch our first torpedo, we will be detected for a brief moment. We need to close the gap with speed, and the best way to do this is to activate our torpedo as soon as we can. This is dangerous because it could lock onto something we don't intend to hit, but as long as we have it on the wire, we should be able to direct its trajectory and close in on our target. You will note that when we fired, this Sierra 1 contact actually fired a USET-60 torpedo at us. We will now have to attempt to avoid it through maneuvering and decoys. Now our MK-48 torpedo actually hit the Sierra 1 Oscar, but it did not destroy it. From the impact, it appears we hit their engine room and most likely they will not be able to maneuver well. This will force them to the surface. In this weakened state, they most likely will attempt to flee and hope that its own torpedo will destroy us, the USS Omaha, first. However, we can fire another MK-48 torpedo and program it to stay just below the surface with active sonar and attempt to hit the same spot and sink the Sierra 1 Oscar contact while continuing to avoid their USCT-60 torpedo. Now we will close on Sierra 2 November, and here we almost have a catastrophic event in that our active torpedo actually begins to turn towards us and it appears to be locking on us. However, in the course of locking onto us, it actually relocks onto a humpback whale and it saves us. I apologize to any animal activist now. The Sierra 2 November originally was trying to outrun our torpedo, but once it realized that our torpedo locked onto a humpback whale, instead, due to us not following standard operating procedure and consequently being hunted down by the Sea Shepherds in the future, 
It turned to face us and attack firing a torpedo at us and giving away its position. We will now fire a second torpedo at it and guide it into our prey. Again, we activated this torpedo too soon and it locked onto a blue whale. Well, luckily, we still had it on the wire and we were able to remove the lock and change its trajectory back to the Sierra 2 November contact. Now that all detected submarine contacts are sunk, we will re-verify the surface ships and their flags. If any are from the Soviet Union or are flying their flag, we will strike them as well. In order to do this, we will surface the ship and raise our periscope, ESM mast, radar mast, and begin searching with active sonar. None of these ships are enemy warships or enemy cargo ships and thus we will report in with command and update them to our situation and expect to receive a new mission. As a direct result of our actions today we have been able to allow for NATO convoys to reach the North Atlantic and resupply NATO forces defending against the Soviet Union. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe in order to give feedback and open discussion up on videos of this nature. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed the video as much as we did in making it, and until next time, stay safe.